Then you have a doggy boo. What the Christ was that? What just whispered something in English in my ear? Was that you? I seem to- Oh crap, they can attack! I didn't know that! I assumed that they couldn't! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> if I had died there, I would have flipped my table. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, where somehow in the main menu, one of the clubbers seems to have had a stroke, so he's not gonna be making it to the battle? <laughs> like, oh, he just booted up the game, and yet things are already breaking. But for today's episode, we've got an all-new challenge to face. Over the past few videos, I've been finding all of the legacy units, and then using them to try to break the game. <laughs> but in doing so, I unlocked the legacy campaign. So now, we're gonna have to try to beat all of those units, which is... Probably gonna be a whole lot easier said than done in some cases. Okay, well the good news is we didn't get hit with the Dark Peasant or the Super Peasant right off the bat. This is a level called The Start, and even The Start is quite an impressive army. They've got a whole bunch of regular peasants in the middle who are gonna rush us, followed by a volley of poacher arrows from their flanks, and then a couple of kamikaze kegs followed up by poison darts. And of course, I can't use any of the legacy units myself. So we're gonna have to take a step back to the old regular tabs units. I'm wondering, quick draw is quick. But do you think he could take down all of these units? Like, they're gonna come in waves. First is gonna be the peasants, then it's gonna be the poachers, then it's gonna be the darts and explody boys. So we might be able to reload in between waves and take them all out. Oh yeah, they're coming at us real quick. Okay, you guys gotta hit your mark now. I know they're sprinting at you, but apparently they are wearing Kevlar and carbon fiber rather than garbage bags and burlap. Are you kidding me right now? I just assumed peasants would cut holes in like potato sacks or something, but no, they've got bulletproof armor. And then because of that, we did not stand a chance. I say that, but we're still somehow alive. How are you guys still going? You're poisoned and you're shot full of arrows, but... All right, you know what? I'm gonna give some credit to the quick draw because even though they are hurting right now, they're not staying down. They keep getting back up. <laughs> they keep shooting wildly. This is the weirdest stalemate I've ever seen. Like this guy's literally getting tea bagged and <laughs> we've got others who are poisoned. Wait, you're not even on my team. So they're poisoning their own team by accident. Interesting. God, you gotta get up and actually shoot something. Come on, there we go. There's so many bullets going into these stupid gumby faces and they're just not dropping. Oh. Hold on a second. I may have... Yeah, unit's not gonna die. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna need a quick do-over. So this time around, we'll go without the bulletproof peasants or the teabag-proof cowboys. Like, I, I feel like that's only fair. Hopefully, the first salvo of bullets will actually be able to take out some of these rushers. There we go. Oh, we even got one of the barrels. You guys might want to reload a little quicker. They got the guy off the barrel, but it still rolled in and exploded. Oh, crap. I figured they could dodge projectiles, but apparently not that many. We might actually be able to exploit that. Like, once we clear out all of the peasants, then there's nothing but ranged units left. And a couple of shield bearers should be able to absorb most of the arrows. I don't know about the poison darts, but it's something. If you guys could just buy a little bit of time for these quick draws to reload, then we might be able to help you out. Okay. Arrow roller seems con... Fused. He was stuck on a corpse. Yes, that's exactly what I needed from you. So now we can mow down all of the poachers. No, just don't get poisoned. <laughs> There's just too many of them. Oh, wait a second. The solution to this is actually easy. Because like I said, they got so many range units. All we need to do is spam samurai. They can deflect everything after they've sliced through the peasant parade. I'm gonna spread them out quite a bit, though, because I really don't want them all getting blown up by the barrels. Just don't come together. Everybody stay spread out. Try your best not to get run over. <laughs> Should be... No, no, that's not what I want to see! Okay, okay, that's a problem. But we do have quite a few left on either side. Good. Are they... Oh, they can deflect the darts. That's also good. <laughs> Just cut them down and move on. Cut them down and move. Thank you. Oh, this doesn't look good. No, no. Ah, oh, there's too many darts. 
There's just too many of them. I don't understand. Is this supposed to be difficult? It's always such a huge bummer that I can't use the secret units. I can think of a million different things that I would want to try here with secret units, but I really shouldn't complain. I do have a whole lot of options with the rest of tabs. Like, technically, Zeus costs exactly half of what I can spend, so we could try a couple of Zeuses. I'm gonna put them further back than I normally would because the peasants are gonna come to us. So we can kill them and then be nice and refreshed and ready to take on the other half of their army. Come to think of it, I should have done that with the rest of these battles. Why haven't I used that strategy already? Come on, Zeus. You're literally a god against peasants. Plus, you're right next to the Church of the Wobbly Horse. You should be able to draw inspiration from their splendor. Great. Okay. Have not gotten hit by anything yet. Don't get hit by arrows. I don't like that. Just get rid of the darts. Get rid of the dart, boys. No. No, no. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, will you stop firing darts into the taint of gods, please? <laughs> Zeus, get up. Yes. Oh, 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 my. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> that was almost a perfect strike. You're going to be kidding me. See, that was nothing short of heartbreaking. Like, I'm not going to be able to get over that. And I'm not going to stop trying with two Zeus's. I really feel like that should have worked. He's got a little something, something special for them. He just needs a little help avoiding the butthole acupuncture treatment that he got. What if I take control of a Zeus and then I'm smart enough to start throwing bolts right now? See how he's not doing anything and I'm doing my best? I don't know how to control the ricochet, but that's fine as long as we can hail Mary some shots into these guys. Come on now. Eat it. Eat it. Can, can we just start throwing them further? I'm going to start arcing them. Come on. It's lightning. Lightning should be able to reach quite a long ways. Just don't get hit with the dark. Other guy is already getting it. No, no. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Why are these not hitting? No, don't knock me over. Don't knock me over. I want to live. No. Oh. Oh, we still, we still got a little bit of control. We still have a little bit of player agency. Come on, Zeus. Come on, Zeus is one life. Do not, yes! <laughs> it could suck all of these deity balls. Moving on to a level called Poaching Boxers. And this one seems pretty self-explanatory, right? We've got a bunch of boxers who are gonna try to flip us like an omelet. And then a bunch of poachers who are gonna try to poach us like an egg. So the question is, how do we wanna tackle this on two fronts? They're pretty separated. I'd say we might be able to split this up into two battles. I'm thinking maybe something like the Reaper? I can definitely afford one Reaper. He should be able to take out boxers on his own. Or at the very least, try. I don't think he would do well against poachers. Projectiles are kind of his weakness, so we are going to want to keep things separated. Maybe we could use hay balers down here. I know they're not quite as spooky. A dweeb with a bowl cut dressed in lawn shavings with a stick. Not quite exactly the bringer of death, but still, I feel pretty good about that. Everyone stay to their sides. Hey, hey, where are you guys going? The Reaper doesn't need any backup. Trust me, he's going to be fine. Oh, what? No, oh, that's not good. I was going to say, no one said anything about barrel rollers. It was poaching boxers, not poaching boxing barrel rollers. <laughs> oh, no. I made fun of you guys, but you actually upheld your end of the deal. You took out the poachers, no problem. Damn it. So the hay balers are going to be a big yes. They get the job done. We'll keep them around. <laughs> that leaves us $4,000 to take care of the boxers and the barrel rollers who are hiding behind the church. <laughs> That's a dick move, okay? That is holy ground. <laughs> we stay away from that place during battle. Not cool. So... What can we use against boxers? We have so many things with weapons, we should just be able to shoot them, right? If I put a couple of quick draws and maybe some miners and uh, ooh, we could get a gunslinger as well. Dynamite, something like that. Yeah, I like the sound of that. So long as we keep nice and separate. Okay, so I'm not even gonna watch the hay balers. They should get the job done. Do we do anything good over here? They don't even have shirts. You guys should be able to fire straight at the nips. There we go. Oh, that's not good. Oh, crap. No, no. Dodge. Duck and weave. Duck and weave the explosions. Damn it. Okay, well, we're left with one boxer. 
One boxer against all these hay balers. Come on, guys. Just poke him with the stick. <laughs> you, you should be able to pull this off. You got the numbers. You got the value. Yes. I will never make fun of the hay balers again until I forget that I said this. Oof. I don't like the looks of this at all. This is a level called Rush where we're getting rushed. They're going to be sprinting right at us with some loose phalanx and more friggin' poachers. They're everywhere. So the question is, how are we going to deal with them before they get to us? Got a whole bunch of shields. Wait a second. Why don't we just meet them halfway? Yeah, they want to think speed is their ally? No, no, no. They merely adopted speed. The wobbly horse was born in it. Shaped by it into terrifying disfigured shapes. Let's just rush right through them. You guys think you're so clever? Yeah, who's the fast one now? Oh, crap. Oh, right. Poachers usually hunt animals, don't they? That's my bad. That may have been a real crummy plan, but I'm not ready to give up on the wobbly horse quite yet. This is his home turf. He's going to get revenge. But first, I need to use a reaper. We know for a fact that he can penetrate all of these units, so he should be a great backbone to the plan. And we're going to do our best to protect him, probably with something like hoplites, just because they're a good all-around unit. The only thing is, I need to save just enough money to summon my mount, I'm going to be down here. And ideally, I'm going to be able to take control of the wobbly horse and go for a bit of a journey. We can't leave these poachers to take out our lovely reaper, but we can certainly run over the poachers. <laughs> That's the good stuff. Oh, no, I'm down. Is the reaper? The reaper's fine. As long as we protected the reaper, everything will go according to plan. They never expect you to sacrifice the knight for the king to finish the game. I'm really confused what it is I'm looking at right now. This is a level called Bomb, and this is definitely a bomb. We've got a whole bunch of barrel rollers who aren't going to roll. They're just going to balance on those kamikaze kegs because they've got a banner bearer with them. So one arrow in this entire group should be vaporized, but they're getting followed up by a bit of a punchy parade. We've got every single boxer from every single weight class and they're gonna be rushing at us. Oh, I wonder if I time this, would they run straight through that circle and then I could take them all out? Do explosions hurt allied units? There's really only one way of finding out how far, oh, they're real far away. This is going to be difficult to time, but I'm going to try taking control of a single dead eye and hoping for the best. <laughs> I really don't know if this is going to work or not. Oh, aiming is so difficult. How do I know once they've reached the point of shooting? Oh, is that them? Where are they? Oh, oh that's them. That's them. That's fire, fire, fire. Why didn't I fire? Oh, there it is. Ooh. I took out most. I took out most. Okay, shoot. Keep shooting. There we go. Okay, let's just keep backing it up. We got this. Everything is fine. That is a really clever level. And really good to know. I didn't think that you could have friendly fire in this game, but now I'm going to be a whole lot more cautious when using those barrels. It looks like they're going to be switching up their strategy on me with a level called Bomb Rush, where the bombs are now sprinting directly at me. But again, if I can take out one of those kegs, it should take out the entire group, right? I mean, the field is just scattered with kegs. I don't really know if I should go with like, accuracy or with mass. We probably want a whole lot of archers. I'm going to spread them out back here, assuming that we can get a whole bunch, but then I'm going to need some melee units in the front as well, because we've got these stupid peasants. We've got like a, a equator of cannon fodder that's going to make my life a little bit more difficult. Got some squires down there, and a couple more archers. Sure, I, I really doubt they'd be able to blow us all up. I'm just so spread out. Oh, they're even coming from the church again. They're falling off the church! All right, archers, you guys take a million years to fire. I'm really hoping that you get your shots off. Come on, hit the barrel, hit the barrel, or not. Oh, this is 
it's just gonna be a massacre. There's, there's no chance. The archers are so bad. And people were commenting on that saying, never use the archers now that you have the poacher. Because the poacher fires so much faster and does almost as much damage. I say that, but the archers seem to be pulling it together. Oh no, they're missing. You guys have gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Did we get nothing but blind archers spread out? Spread out, I swear, I'm taking control. No, screw this, I swear to God, if you guys shoot each other in the back. Uh, that was a misfire. That that wasn't me, that, that was a misfire. Are there more of them around? Somebody's gotta be alive, or were we just heading to the church? <laughs> me and the boys going to the wobbly <laughs> church. Was that me? <laughs> it sounded like Sylvester Stallone. Can I shoot my allies? I'm starting to think these guys actually are blind. I was aiming right there and I fired at the statue for some reason. Is moving and shooting diff- Okay, their accuracy is just the pits. That makes total sense. Is there an enemy back here? Please, not an exploding enemy, otherwise you guys are toast. Oh. Okay, it's just a peasant who is presenting himself. <laughs> All right, well, if that's where you want it, who am I to judge? Just give me a second, I need- I need 12 seconds to reload. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Help, friends, friends, help. Ow, it hurts. It hurts so much. Die, die. Oh my God. You could literally just jab the arrow into him. Thank you. They really aren't gonna let up off my nuts anytime soon, are they? This is a level called Siege, where they do in fact have a whole lot of siege. But then they've also got some phalanx who are gonna rush us. Don't think that I don't see all those spoopy vampires in the graveyard either. I, I know to look around now. And again, dick move. That is holy horse land. <laughs> so the question is, how are we gonna fight two armies? Right? Because half of their army is gonna stay behind and not move at all, and the other half is gonna rush us. So if we take the fight all the way over here, then we don't need to worry about the siege units at all. Be completely out of range. I kind of want to try something like the Scarecrow because we never try the Scarecrow. He's always so disappointing. <laughs> I don't know why I think it's going to be any different this time around. But more importantly, I want units with really long range. I don't want to get anywhere near those Ballista or Catapults. If we can pick them off from far away, that'd be great. And then, oh, I mean, I, I want to use something like the Gunslinger because they're coming at us in, in close quarters, but I really need some cannon fodder here. Someone up in the front. They don't have ranged units. I don't need to worry about something like the samurai. Brawlers are a little more expensive than hoplites, but hoplites are probably better. I guess we could just go with hoplites. A group of them here and a group of them here. We just need something, you know, big and burly for the vampires to suck on. I don't know. They're into guys like that. Who cares? <laughs> Please, you stupid T posing bird man. Can you do something? All I ask is that you do something. Look at all the things with wings coming at us. Can you send your own wing things? That'd be great. We are out of range of the ballista, right? Okay. It's not firing. I would imagine we are out of range. I, they've got to have some kind of range. <laughs> Come on, dead eye. Keep it up. Oh, what are you going to do? Don't, don't worry. Don't worry about the guy with a flag. We're not We're going to be concerned about stuff like that. <laughs> got the whole flock taking out a single guy with a shield. Oh, crap. Birds, do do something that doesn't involve killing my team, please. Oh my god. Okay, well, I guess I'm taking control of you again because we are going to be taking pot shots from all the way back here. I'm not going anywhere near this battle. Screw that. I would imagine we can hit them. Are these hits? It's impossible to tell. My gun is kind of wonky for some reason. Hopefully, okay, we'll, we'll test on something like this. If, if this is a hit, we should be able to kill that guy. I think he glowed a little bit. Oh, no, no, too close, too close. Back it up, just a scooch. We good here? We might be good here. I think I can slowly pick them off one at a time now. Yeah, that guy's definitely glowing. Are we not able to shoot through shields? Our bullets are going over there. Why are you broken? Come on now. If I switch, no, you see, this is the problem. I'm aiming over here and the gun is shooting like over, over that way. That's not how that's supposed to work. What if I lock in on you, but then turn? Oh, 
Okay, that actually works for some reason. We'll lock in and then we'll aim the gun and... <laughs> Okay, I have figured out the stupidity of tabs. When you break your wrist, you just need to put your waist into each shot. It's something like this. That's the good stuff. Oh, crap. No, we, we, we really do not want to take out the banner bearers. That's the last thing. Oh, crap. No, no. Okay, we got to lock on and then turn and fire. Good, good. Okay, we just got one or two left. Please, please shoot, 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 shoot. Mm. Oh, I think that was collateral. Okay, now if we could deal with the siege, everything is gonna be fine. I don't even know if I'm actually able to hit the siege from here. Oh, we are! Oh, this is actually gonna work. I'm gonna cheese this flawlessly. <laughs> Screw this game, okay? I don't care if this is less entertaining. This was so incredibly worth it. The fact that I figured this out is just beautiful. <laughs> so we should be in the clear. Everything is dead except for the two banner bears. I'm gonna go have a word with them. What the Christ was that? What just whispered something in English in my ear? Was that you? I seem to- Oh crap, they can attack! I didn't know that! I assumed that they couldn't! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> if I had died there, I would have flipped my table. Okay, yeah, you know what? I think it straightened our arm out, so we're just gonna finish things. Seriously, what was that? You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. And you know that I love messing around in the sandbox, okay? I love breaking the game and trying big, crazy things, but at the same time, there's just something about the campaigns that's so fun. Like, the fact that you have to think outside the box, you have to use things with a limited resources that you wouldn't normally try. So, I would love to continue the Legacy campaign. If you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to like this video, let me know, and I'll return to face off against a whole bunch of long pointy sticks. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.